Welcome to all our viewers. My name is MK Srinivasan, and I've been in the media industry for over 25 years. At Indus TV, we are proud to shine a spotlight on organizations that are stepping in to help India when it needs the help the most. Today, we have with us Mr. Gitesh Desai, who is the Houston chapter president and the media coordinator of Seva International. Thank you for taking time during this busy week, uh, Mr. Desai. And I invite you to share with us and our viewers about Seva International and something about yourself as well, please. Namaste. Thank you for this opportunity, Srinivasanji. Uh, Seva International is a Hindu faith-based nonprofit service organization registered under 501c3 uh, Internal Revenue Code of the United States of America. Seva is a Sanskrit word meaning selfless service, service above self. Our inspiration comes from the Hindu spirituality that teaches us that the world is one family, that serving Narayan and Nar is the same thing. So serving humanity is serving divinity. The other concept and guiding principles for our motivation is that Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina, Sarve Santu Niramaya, Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu, meaning let all be happy, let all be healthy, let see good in each other and let no one suffer misery. So under these guiding principles, our volunteers are inspired and serving humanity wherever disaster strikes. So Seva International is operating in the United States for nearly 20 years across 40 chapters in the country. And Seva International also operates in 20 plus countries throughout the world. That's a very good introduction about your organization. And I know you're based on principles of helping humanity, which is very laudable. Uh, I want to compliment you for some of the you know, foresight you had in helping very quickly during this pandemic in India. I wanted to ask you, can you, when did you really, as an organization, realize the issue that's cropping up in India and how did you so quickly ramp up efforts? Uh, our disaster relief uh, department uh, is constantly serving the humanity wherever it needs and we mobilize our volunteers immediately. So we've been watching what's happening in, within India in the last few weeks. And when we came to realize that uh, the COVID cases are up on rising, uh, it is exponentially going up. Uh, we immediately uh, made a call and we came together as a team to fund this event of catastrophe going on in India. So we floated on our Facebook page and also on our web page, sevausa.org and facebook.com, uh, Seva International USA for fundraiser. So we are very fortunate and numbered by the community across the United States who came forward generously with love and so much donation that has come in last one week that has made us possible to ship more than 2,600 uh, oxygen concentrators immediately. And some of the corporates have also come forward to serve with us. For example, the UPS Foundation is carrying cargo free of charge for Seva International from Atlanta to India, New Delhi. And some of the other giants in corporate worlds have also donated generously to us. So we are very thankful to all our donors and all our supporters and all our well wishers. Now, that's amazing the story about UPS. And I'm sure there are many other organizations and individuals who are selflessly giving to uh, Seva itself. Uh, what is the need you are seeing on the ground in India at the moment in terms of uh, uh, I think everything is changing on a daily basis in terms of what we need. So a few days ago, a lot of oxygen concentrators were needed. There's an expectation that something else may be needed in the next couple of weeks. Uh, do you have a broader action plan? Um, our viewers would love to hear about that. We are constantly in touch with the ground reality and we are getting uh, input from our sources and partners within India. So at present, the dire need is life-saving equipment. Uh, those are oxygen concentrators and ventilators. So our focus on these two equipment right now, and we are in process of acquiring and shipping more such equipment because other medical uh, supplies are also in 
big demand and we are also working on those issues oh yeah that's what i'm hearing so thank you that thank you for sharing some of those things that's really uh, very nice to know about some of those things um i'm sure you also have put in place a lot of uh, safeguards in terms of how to reach the needed equipment and the supplies to the right people i'm um, can you share some something about that with us please yes uh, so from uh, united states from atlanta to new delhi india the cargo reaches uh, and then from that uh, it gets distributed in seven centers uh, from those seven nodal centers it goes out further to 22 cities across india air india is carrying our supplies free of charge within india to up to those 22 points and from those uh, our volunteers will uh, with our local partners will take it further to the communities that are impacted by this catastrophic second surge of covid-19 that's so heartening to know that you've got all this in place to make sure it reaches the right people um and i know you've also been helping a lot of good organizations uh, other organizations which have a challenge they are able to raise the money and raise the supplies but they don't know how to deploy it and i believe you've been helping some other organizations as well what uh, what can other organizations do if they need such help to send the materials to india to the right people they have challenges both in getting it as well as in distributing it right are you doing something with other organizations uh, we are sharing information as best as we can in the current situation and we are providing the information uh, of uh, some of those uh, uh, suppliers if possible and uh, the sources who can take that to india if possible so uh, in some cases uh, we are helping but uh, it's, it is still we are at early stage of this uh, situation so uh, everybody is struggling to purchase a, procure and purchase and then ship so it, it is a logistical nightmare right now for so everybody that's exactly what i've been hearing from other organizations and i heard that seva has been helping uh, alleviate some of those issues in purchasing in distributing in shipping and all of that stuff so um is there anything as an organization should know uh, in terms of reaching out to you if they need any help in some some of those areas uh, we will help as best as we can in the current situation uh however they should also uh, look out for the different opportunities of different venues to send out to india and for instance uh, there are some organizations other than us who are being helped by air india also from the us to india so uh, they should uh, that's what uh, I, it came to our knowledge so people can reach out to them as well that's really good um, and and i think any information sharing that will be excellent um you also mentioned earlier that you've been very heartened by the support of all the donors what do you need from donors now at this stage we would urge all our donors in the country uh, those who would like to donate uh, should go to sevas facebook page and seva's web page uh, sevausa.org and on facebook seva international usa and donate because that is the uh, most efficient way to serve our motherland india and to serve india in general because uh, we are the frontal organization and many community organizations and professional organizations have come together with seva international for instance api one of the premier institute of indian american physicians uh, they have partnered with seva international and similarly uh, pan iit and uh, some of uh, local iit chapters uh, alumni chapters also are supporting seva international uh, i am in houston and in most of the houston uh, community organizations and uh, spiritual organizations like temples and some other uh, organizations they are all do- collecting funds or telling their members to go directly to seva web page or seva's facebook page and donate directly in the interest of the time because time is of the essence uh, we do not want to uh, miss a single hour in this endeavor because it's a critical moment to send supplies to india what help do you need from the people in general or say the government or anyone else in terms of uh, making sure that your efforts are going on a 
productive basis and an efficient basis all we are looking for is uh, right now people support to donate funds for uh, our efforts to buy more uh, life saving equipment medical supplies ppes uh, etc and we would appreciate any current information coming from india on a regular basis that tells us what is the demand of the day what is required today so we can also uh, change our course uh, and be flexible in our service activities so if any uh, any useful information is coming from india and from a government agency that will be very useful for you i'm assuming correct yes sir okay that will be excellent yeah um and uh, have you been hearing any positive stories coming out from india with regards to how sevas help us actually benefited say a family or someone have we been uh, serving on the ground with our volunteers and our volunteers are distributing flyers and general information about health and how to protect their families uh, during this crisis so seva volunteers have been well appreciated in india and uh, they are continuing serving people we are also in the process of uh, setting up a digital help desk where information will be available from any parts of the world when you reach out to seva help desk in india it's not india it's a global audience that can reach to india's help uh, seva help desk where you can find out where the ambulances are available where uh, beds are available in the hospital what medical supplies are needed so we will be sharing information in, in real time so seva digital help desk will be made available very soon okay so your website and the digital help desk would be the most appropriate place for any of your viewers to keep regularly getting information about what is going on um that's very useful information thank you uh what about anything else you want to share uh, if i missed anything uh, and if you missed uh, mentioning anything this is a good time to share with our viewers anything you may want to tell us about what's going on uh, seva international <clears throat> in his service efforts all these years is serving people all across uh, the united states as well as different parts of the world and we serve one and all we do not discriminate anybody we serve people of all nationalities all race and religions all genders and sexual orientation and nationalities so seva international is a true service organization that has come as a premier service organization in the united states of america our services are recognized uh, all across the united states we are the four, one of the only international four star rated service organization by charity navigator okay. Chari charity okay. navigator evaluates its uh, charity organization in the united states in this uh, we by charity navigator we are being rated as four star in our financial standing and accountability and transparency so seva international is one of the most trusted seva organization service organization so i would like all your donors to feel confident in sharing your dollars with seva international because your dollar will be used very wisely and prudently seva international is a volunteer based organization from top down from our chairman of the board to the lowest rank volunteers they are all equal we are all volunteers so mm -hmm. our efficiency and our productivity is supreme in competition to any other service organization so i would request and urge all your viewers please donate generously please go to sevausa.org or go to seva international usa on facebook.com that's so nice thank you very much uh, mr desai uh, once again i thank you on behalf of all of us at indus tv and our viewers for doing such admirable work when is needed the most and you've touched all of our hearts and we hope that the crisis in india comes to an end soon and we wish you all the best thank you thank you namaste we are uh, fortunate to have with us another uh, esteemed member from seva international mr sam kosigi who is the vp of operations and uh, welcome mr sam thank you very much for being here um, i i know mr 
uh, Kitesh was talking uh, about some of the impressive work that is being done um, by SEVA, both in the US and in India, in terms of collecting, deploying, and as well, making sure it's reaching the right places. Of course, I'm sure that's not possible with just a handful of people. How many volunteers are really there in India and in the US? That's a very good question, uh, Srinivasji. Uh, in US currently, uh, close to 500 volunteers are working. As uh, Giteji already mentioned, we have 43 chapters in 22 cities in US. Um, almost all, all chapters, um, we have many volunteers and they're all on ground now, pretty much helping our uh, fund development and marketing teams in raising funds currently. That's one aspect. Second aspect is uh, in India, um, close to 1,000 volunteers are engaged in uh, managing these logistics and helping, uh, uh, I think, in uh, on ground. Uh, we are expecting uh, more volunteers uh, are going to be joined uh, in this effort. Uh, and also, I'm very um, uh, fortunate to say that uh, uh, we are working with almost all uh, 500 organizations overall. Um, during a COVID uh, uh, campaign, we have reached out to 1,000 organizations. We have got a lot of response um, from 500 organizations. And uh, recently, we have published a book called uh, Dharma Network Book also, uh, uh, with the 125 organizations um, uh, recorded. And uh, uh, amazingly, all these uh, organizations are coming forward. and. Uh, they want to work with the Seva International. They want to uh, support their volunteer base. Uh, so I'm very happy uh, to request all organizations uh, kindly reach out to us and uh, we all can work together and make a big difference here. And one organization definitely cannot uh, uh, tackle this big issue. <laughs> uh, so uh, we need uh, your expertise. For example, uh, we work with AIM for Seva and uh, Chinmay also. Um, during COVID time, there was a uh, requirement for uh, spiritual counseling, you know. So uh, we requested uh, uh, AIM for Seva to um, come forward uh, and uh, provide uh, spiritual counseling guidance. Uh, so like that, you know, Seva so um, always reach out to um, all organizations and take their help. So that is the beauty of uh, uh, our Seva International. And then uh, our slogan says that uh, serving together, that is our uh, slogan. Uh, so serving humanity, serving divinity, and uh, uh, serving together, the, those are our guiding principles also. Um, uh, so uh, please come and join with the SEVA movement. Um, we will be happy to work with you. We are all happy to work That's, with you. Thank you so much for that uh, wonderful information. I never even realized that people may need spiritual counseling, but it makes sense because everyone is sort of traumatized and sad. Um, what is the best way for any of our viewers if they want to become a volunteer? So they can actually uh, uh, contact through info at sevausa.org. They can send an email. Uh, somebody will respond. Uh, uh, best, uh, best thing is go to our website, www.sevausa.org. Uh, then uh, uh, provide your query. I think somebody will pick up and uh, uh, reach out to you. Uh, so if not, I think uh, uh, they can reach out to um, our organization related uh, resources, which, have, which we have provided on the website. Uh, anything works for us. Yeah. That's great. We'll share that information with our viewers, and I'm sure many of them would love to uh, volunteer. But thank you for taking the time during a busy week, uh, Mr. Sam Kosegi, and I really appreciate your inputs and insights. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Uh, pleasure here. Thanks for entertaining Seva International here. Namaste to all your viewers.